Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. If you are new here, I thank you for coming over and clicking on that thumbnail, showing your girl some love. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming as well. You know, continuing to watch my videos, showing me some support and love as well. Today I have something really special for you all. We're gonna be discussing a couple of Lancome's fragrances. One that I've just obtained a couple weeks ago. Um, this fragrance was inspired by another reviewer and her name is Veronica. So this video is gonna be a little bit of a Veronica made me do it, okay? So she doesn't know it and I never mentioned it to her, but I've always, you know, when she does her videos, there's always this one fragrance that's like front and center. You know, I hear a couple of other people talking about it, like it's a really amazing coconut scent, and you all know that I love coconut, you know, and it's tropical and creamy and this and that. Veronica never actually reviewed it, but every, just about every single time she posts a video, I love her little lineup of, um, you know, pretty fragrances and the colors and the hues, they all kind of like flow and match, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful to look at. So, but there's just that, there's that one bottle that's always there. That's very eye catching. And I just decided to get it. And Veronica, you're going to know which you got to figure out which one it is today. Okay. Um, and there's another one today too. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's a couple of YouTubers and I'm going to be doing like, um, or reviewers, fragrance reviewers, and I'm gonna be doing um, such and such made me do it because you guys did. But you know, it's all good, you know? Um, it's all fragrance love, right? All right, so um, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, so that way when I do upload a video, you can give me your recommendations, your feedback, you know, we can just share with one another. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this video. But the first Lancome fragrance I'm gonna, we're gonna discuss, I've had it for a while, you all, and this is a very, very beautiful, very, 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 very fragrance. And this is no other than Lancome La Nuit Tresor. Yeah, this is a really great fragrance. This is a designer fragrance. I believe this is an all year long fragrance. A lot of people know what this smells like. Um, let's go ahead and read the notes in this fragrance. It's raspberry, blackberry, lychee. Oh, who would have known there's lychee in here, but you do actually get a hint of that like um, tart lychee. There's black currant, citruses, bergamot, damask rose, peony, lily of the valley, Tahitian vanilla. There's patchouli, white musk, and the list goes on and on and on. I mean, it can't get any prettier than this, right? This sounds like a beautiful, amazing hosh posh of like fragrance notes in here, but it's it's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. I don't wear this often, um, but when I do, I, I really like it a lot. This is probably one of the berryest fragrances that I have, you know? It's a lot of berries in here, a lot of tart, sweet berries. This almost, this is a, you know, this almost reminds me of, I think, Amethyst, but Amethyst is very weak, y'all. So I would never purchase Amethyst again. I purchased it once and like, I wanna get rid of it. And they said it's a do for a uh, uh, Meliora by Parfums de Marley, but I don't like it at all. And this is like, the I think this is the way Amethyst should have been made um, with that little bit of like um, champagne, like fizzy note on top of it, but this is good. So you do get that black currant, you know, the damask, you smell a rose. I don't, I'm not gonna spe specify which rose, but you do smell a rose. You know, you get the raspberry, you do get the lychee, but mainly the black currant, the raspberry, and the blackberry. This is oh so good. And this is um, Tresor La Nuit. Beautiful bottle, you know, it just sits on the side. I really like it. Would I purchase this again? Probably not, but I do absolutely love the fragrance because there's like a lot. And I don't, I have a lot of fragrances and I don't wear this as often. So I'll probably have this for a lifetime, y'all. The next one, Veronica made me do it. 
is La Nui. This is Tresor La Nui Nude, Veronica. You know this bottle, right? Yes, I know you do. So this bottle just sits there in all of its glory on her table or vanity, looking oh so pretty. And I'm always staring at it while she's talking, you know? So I was like, you know what? Everybody's talking about it. The bottle is stunning. The packaging's stunning, y'all. Look at that. I love it. You know, um, everyone says it's a pretty good fragrance. You know, I love coconut. It smells good. You know, spring, summer, summer's coming. You know, vacation, beachy. This would be absolutely great for this season. So um, let's go ahead and get into the notes. They're very simple. Um, it's bergamot, rose, coconut, and vanilla. That is it. So, oh, uh, I forgot to mention the performance on La Nuit Tresor, the original one. Um, the performance is about like six to eight hours. It's pretty good. Um, and the projection is amazing. Um, you get all those berries. Like I still smell it. You know, um, the longevity is good. The projection, the sillage is good. Now this one, I've heard otherwise. Now I've worn this one uh, for a couple days. And when I did spray it on, people say you get a creamy coconut from this. I don't get any creaminess from this. Even in the dry down, I get more of a coconutty smell uh, in the dry down, but I really don't get any sweet creaminess from this. I get more of a really tropical, like there's a citrusy note or something, a frangipani, or there's something I get that's really sharp. In here it's not too green I wouldn't call it green but it's really citrusy and I'm trying to figure out what it is so when they say maybe I'm wondering if it's the bergamot that causes this to be a little more citrusy um, I'm trying to figure out if that's what it is but I know what bergamot smells like but there's something else in this fragrance and I know they don't tell us all that's inside that's giving it a little bit more of a sharp citrusy note um, you know, of course, there's rose and vanilla and coconut. Now, as far as this being sweet to me, um, this is not too sweet to me, just like a little bit. It's more like, you know, you have those sickly sweets, then you have, you know, then you have a not so sweet and then you have like the perfect sweet. This would be more of like the not so sweet fragrance to me. You do get that vanilla a little bit more in the dry down. The vanilla and the coconut is in the dry down and in the opening and the projection, I get a lot of the bergamot and rose with a little bit of like a citrus note, but in the opening or like an orange blossom or something like that, that's what it smells like to me. Like, um... Or, yeah, like a some type of, um, yeah, I don't know if it's orange blossom, though. Maybe a peach blossom. It's not orange blossom, but it smells a little peachy to me. So, um, that's those are the notes that I get in here. Um, something's in here. It's not listed, y'all. But anyway, I'll go ahead and spray this. Yeah, you know, this one, I didn't expect it to have that same... Um, Tresor La, uh, La Nuit DNA, but they both, even though that one is a very berry fragrance and this is a coconutty fragrance, they both have that Lancome uh, Tresor La Nuit DNA and they smell alike, but just different fruits, you know? So now this is very soft. Um, on my skin, this only lasted about, I would say two, three hours tops and I sprayed it about 10 times. On my clothing, it lasted maybe four hours tops. So the performance is not great on this. Uh, would I purchase this again? Probably not, but I am you know, glad that I did get my nose on it because everybody raves about it. Uh, Veronica's like, like I said, has never um, uh, reviewed it. You know, so I was always wondering what this smelled like because you know, you trust some fragrance reviewers, you know, and their noses because um, you guys, you know, you're kind of like fragrance, fragrance twins sometimes with people that like certain things. So, you know, you trust certain people. So I just bought this because of the masses and because I've always stared at it on a Veronica's vanity, you know, but um, it's an okay fragrance. It's definitely gives me um, beachy vibes, but it's very, the performance is not great on this, you know? So, you know, it, but it smells good, you know? It's not, it doesn't smell great, it smells good. So anyway, that is uh, Tresor La Nuit Nude. So I have one other one. So y'all, you guys got me buying fragrances at CVS. Like, 
I barely shop at CVS. Not that there's anything wrong with CVS, but the fact that the thought of me going over to CVS to pick up a fragrance, I actually went over there to pick up something for my niece um, because, but I wanted to get her a smaller one and I have one, it's Ariana Grande Cloud. And I heard that she like really, really loved it. So um, I'm gonna see her and then, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I just wanted to give her something really cute and special. So as I was going through the aisles, I was like, oh my gosh, they have like all these fragrances in here. Like it brought back nostalgia, like so much, you know, so many fragrances that I used to wear when I was about, maybe 17 until the age of like my mid or my the end of my 20s early 30s uh Perry Ellis 360 y'all I wore Perry Ellis 360 out like big time I think it was Versace um it's a jean or Dil not Dylan blue it's Versace jean in that really striking blue bottle um Calvin Klein's Euphoria oh my gosh I wore that to death and it was like so super sweet um what else there were so many in there that you know I was like oh my gosh I remember this I remember that and then um I was like I'm in here buying uh, fragrances at CVS. Like, who would have thought? You know, in a million years, I would have never thought. Anyway, I'm not bougie, but you know, I probably, I don't think I would have ever bought, bought a fragrance at CVS. But anyway, so I saw something that someone mentioned on her scent of the day, and um, it's it was a tea fragrance because I had done a tea, not a tea haul, but a tea review as well because I love, love, love tea notes and fragrances. So anyway. Um, when I went there, I was like, oh my gosh, there is Jennifer Lopez, uh, steel fragrance. So I was kind of like excited and, you know, really hyped up. And I was like, steel is in CVS and Ariana Grande cloud is in CVS. It wasn't even at Macy's. I was attempting to purchase it at Macy's and they didn't even have it anymore. So, um, I Googled it and it said, um, it was at CVS. So I was like, you know what? I had to go pick up a package, you know, from UPS there. So I just decided to slide on over into the fragrance um, aisle. So anyway, um, guess what I picked up? Um, and this was like such a total surprise. So Veronica, here you go. This is the Veronica made me do it. This is Jennifer Lopez's Steel. Now this is a tea fragrance. I've already sprayed it on. I smelled it. I absolutely love it. This is a very light fragrance. Like she said, it's not groundbreaking. Um, I suggest that you do not buy this at CVS because this was more than it would probably cost on Fragrance Net or Fragrance Buy. Uh, but I did get this for around $30, you know, but this is only the 1.7 ounce. I think you can get the 3.4 ounce for um, about the same price, $28, $30. Uh, but you know, I couldn't pass it up, right? So, um, so in this, you have Earl Grey tea, white pepper, mandarin orange, apple rice, freesia, lily of the valley, honeysuckle, rose, orange blossom, iris, musk, and amber. There's so many beautiful notes in this, you all. Um, and this is very soft in it, but you do get that. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. I already sprayed it like here on my arm and off top, I smell the Earl Grey tea. I smell the freesia. Like my nose is really sensitive to freesia. So when it's in a fragrance and I do love freesia in a fragrance, I completely smell it. I smell the rose. You get a little bit of the honeysuckle, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and spray it on my hand. So it's a really great fragrance. Like she said, it's not like Ha, holy grail type fragrance, but it's a really soft fragrance. You know, this is an office scent. This is a, a this could be a signature scent. You can wear this to church. You can wear this anywhere. This is a non-offensive. This is a very beautiful light scent. But for those that love uh, tea notes and fragrances, you're gonna love this one. And that freesia and that white pepper because I cook a lot with white pepper. So there is a major difference between red pepper, white pepper, and black pepper. I do like white pepper in some of my like Asian style dishes, um, you know, maybe on some of my uh, vegetables when you saute it. It doesn't give it that, um, it's very, very fine and it doesn't give it that, you know, harsh black pepper taste, but white pepper is very refined and I really smell it inside of here. The white pepper, the freesia, the, you, can, you can really smell like the lily of the valley. 
You know, this is a great fragrance and I'm so glad that you decided to review this and tell me about this, Veronica. So I will be getting, this is definitely, um, I believe it's blind by worthy. You know, if you love tea fragrances, you know, it's, this is, it's good. I absolutely, I love it. I do. You know, and I'm so glad you spoke of it. But anyway, I'm definitely getting me a bigger bottle. This is great for traveling. I could throw this in my purse, you know, spray it on because it's so small and convenient. It comes with that little jewel in the front. I kind of like dusted the bottle, but the bottle's even cute, y'all. But anyway, if you love tea fragrances, get Jennifer Lopez's still. You won't be disappointed. I really like it. And I wanted to mention um, what, mention one other thing that I picked up. Remember I told you all about getting um, that deal from the House of Siage that was like 70% off and I had already ordered the Whispers of Time, I think it's the Whispers of Time um, series by the House of Siage, which was $50. You know, they come in, I think this is like a seven or eight ml and you get, there's an eight, I think it's eight mls and you get seven of these and these are so cute. And when I tell you House of Siage fragrances are beast mode, and all I did was spray this four times, and I smelled it for 10, 12 hours on my clothes, this is complete beast mode. Totally, totally worth the $50, and you get to smell every single one of them. This was a great deal. So I hope you all go over there and, you know, get the whispers. I think this is, I'm just gonna call it the Whispers line. You know, a, this is an amazing deal. Also, they have the signature scents as well. So I decided to snag the signature scents. The signature scents are um, just $20 more, but they're $220 off. So I get to actually review, uh, and you know I'm going to review these with you all. Uh, I'm going to review them and just enjoy every single one of these fragrances. I think there's what, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 in here. It's every single one of their fragrance, the fragrances from their signature line. You have, I'm gonna read it from the back, y'all. I'm gonna close this up. Isn't that beautiful, you know? And the bottles are, go oh shoot, I almost dropped one. So you have Emerald Rain, you have Benevolence. I sprayed on Benevolence, y'all. Benevolence is beast mode. I sprayed it on my finger, and when I tell you, I got out the car, and I was like, did that little bitty spray just give me like a whole, you know, bubble of sillage around me? When I tell you one spray, I, and it smelled like I sprayed it at least three or four times on my body, it was so projecting and a, such an amazing sillage. One spray from Benevolence. So that stuff is beast mode. By the way, Benevolence smells like it does give you Killian Love Don't Be Shy vibes. It's not as sweet though, but you know what it really smells like? It smells like Mimo's Centra. You know, I think the house of Mimo Paris, it smells like Centra. It's Killian Love Don't Be Shy with a little bit of that green note. Now in Mimo Centra, because I've tested it before, um, it has more of a sharper green note in the opening, but the dry down, you still get the Killian Love Don't Be Shy with the orange blossom, the sugary sweetness, but the green note kind of like dries down a little bit and calms down. Um, so that's what Benevolence smells like. Benevol Benevolence smells like Mimo Centra and the dry down. I was like, all these fragrances, they smell alike. So, you know, um, it's good to sample things because you don't want to keep getting bottles that are so similar. So I really wanted, um, I was thinking about getting Mimo Paris Centra, but I was like, since I have this, this will last me, Benevolence will last me, you know, maybe like 10 wears, you know, I don't need it. I already have Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. So, you know, it doesn't make sense. So y'all, if you're thinking about it, Benevolence is pretty much Mimo Centra and the dry down, okay? It's not so green, all right? So anyway, that was just um a little bit of a little bit of information. So anyway, you have Tiara in here, you have Holiday of Siage, you have Passion de l'Amour, for those people that have always wanted to try that with that slight oud you know, that that's a great fragrance to start off if you wanna try oud but you really don't like it, a really good one. It also has saffron inside, y'all, too, so I love it. I have a full bottle of Passion de l'Amour. That was my very first cupcake. Um, you also have Cheval d'Or, which is a very, 
a strawberry rose fragrance. It almost gives you Delina vibes, uh, Chevaux d'Or. It's not as um, sweet as Delina because it gives you more of a fruity strawberry note on top of like that lychee rhubarb smell, but it gives you Delina vibes. Um, also, you have Haute's Bijou, you know, which is the mango fragrance that I did a review on, and that was pretty good. It's a mango rosy type, a mango floral fragrance. You have in here Nuez Moy, I think it is, Cherry Garden I've always wanted to try, and Love is in the Air I wanted to try. So, man, you guys look, for... $70, $220 off. And I don't even, I act like I work for the house of Siage. I don't, okay? Uh, but I mean, when I find amazing deals, then I really, really want to, you know, share what, you know, other people are offering. This was $70 and it was completely worth it. This will last somebody probably an entire six months if they wear fragrances. If they probably just wanted to wear this or maybe even a whole year. So, um, you know, y'all yeah, go get it. Hopefully there's still more left. Um, this was $70, like I said, the House of Siage. And this one, the Whispers, was $50. But anyway, that was enough of my talking. Um, you know, I'm still so excited about J.Lo Steel and the dry down. You still get more of the tea note, a soft rosy note. Um, the peppery note is kind of dissipating and drying down, you know, but I still get that a little. It's not too spicy, but it smells like pepper. You know, I get the freesia and the lily of the valley. I don't get the honeysuckle as much now as in the opening, but I love the fragrance. You know, J.Lo Steel, go out and get it. And uh, that is all for my review. I'm going to stop talking, y'all. So anyway, have an amazing day. You know, go out into the world, spread love, amazing siage, and, you know, do good, be good, and it shall return to you. And if it doesn't return to you, keep on doing it, y'all. All right? Love you much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.